wonderful viewers uh, welcome back to active tv for another fast and a quick update mbadi ngolo atel mi yalon ko alka active tv jube alka bulan noma balbe konto na balbe jiala kota ke active tv pour kana update all dolf nal diala mbadi ngolo jani meduna abi kibarol kono kankularo dole be mbuljang pour ka sindal ma kankularo mi yalon ko ko mata kende ke kende ke kende ke this is to inform the general public that the annual ziare of al haji mohammed moro jabi of jende france in senegal oriental will be happening again inshallah on the 3rd of march 2020 by the grace of god mbadi ngolo sawo sang ziare mi yalon ko akake jende jende be a senegal oriental ka ziare munge alpha bay e ka fomu yeko ala haji moro jabi ziare nyimbe kala kota ke insan ku dom yalon ko abina lola teng the recitation of the holy quran will start in the morning from 9 am to 2 pm mbadi ngolo quran ul be karana quran karango be damu dala a talan ko non to somanda kata fo talan fula kili bulo the official ceremony will start from 5 pm to 7 pm and the conference will start from 10 pm till morning mbadi ngolo quran karango ko minga fale nya ameng atebe damu dala so manda talan ko non do kara talan fula tilibulo a ceremony official ceremony nying o be damu dala talan lulu tilibulo kata fo talan woro wula wularo conference nying o be damu dala talan tang suto kata fo so manda they are inviting every muslim to be part of them to celebrate this great day mbadi ngolo muslim o be dunia daw danding ibabe bunya kan kere kere bunya pour ka nyim ben ma be e ka ziare munke alhaji mohammed moro jabie in 2021 kuto mi yalon ko akanalo teng maji karo tilisaba we are transporting them one by one to the firing ground me and aliou jeng malik and uh, sana manjang were standing there when we take this person they fire at him he fall in the ditch we come back for another until the last man The deceased were believed to be Ghanaians who had been killed and dumped in the forest. Later, it was discovered that the bodies were part of about 56 West African migrants, including about 44 Ghanaians who had been shot and killed. Yaya Jame, then president of the Gambia, denied responsibility, eventually giving Ghana an amount of 500,000 US dollars for burial expenses. A very popular page in the Gambia the standard newspaper is reporting that the families of West African migrants who were killed in the Gambia under former president Tejame have sued the government of the Republic of the Gambia and the Ghana government Mbadi ngolo standard newspaper kibaru bungolo miyalon ko adaraja ta Gambia banko kan kende ke kende ke kende ke etele ni kibaru janjan kai tandi ko mol mu yalon ko ifata mo tanani anin nani miyalon ko gane no le midi ikam fata han sign e be kam fare en kay tande ko jamme ila mol mul fata ala maralo koto e ko etel ba pare na ka gambia man sakunda samba kitiola andum fanang gana man sakunda fanang ke samba kitiola in july 2005 44 ghanian migrants as well as some 12 other west africans from nigeria senegal togo and cote d'ivoire including two women who reportedly pregnant forcibly disappeared in the Gambia while on their way to Europe by sea the migrants were never heard again except for one who managed to escape and alerted authorities across the border in Senegal mbadi ngolo eko july karo kono 2005 san kono mo tanan anin nani gana nol anin mo tanim fulam yalon ko ibota nigeria senegal togo anin cote d'ivoire eko musu fula be kono yalon ko kibaro yaay tande ko kono mal e be kono mari na nun a musu kono mal long e ko yemanta gambia banko kan briya silota kata europe jio kono mbadi ngolo e ko nyim mol e be kamfarin kende ke kende ke kende ke ila dimbal kay tande ko ila mol e man a loa man ku tamandi ila koto e ko nyim lonta nyim ko lonta kay tande ko mol fata nyim siloka ne gambia banko kan gambia man sakundala do ko koto katung mole borta miyalon ko wala tata ko nyin kibaro janjang mole borta miyalon ko atani o tankata ko nyin ko no wala tata senegal autorite miyalon ko wala mo tanko bundati senegal banko kan atata kibaro nyin futandi wolma
Nina mkibaro ti standard news pepe mungjanjang uh, wola kodo. Niko motan nani anin nani gana nol miyalonko ifata anin motan ni mfula miyalonko ibota Nigeria, Senegal, Togo, anin Kodivuar. Ila family mall, ila dimbal, iba kamfari kendeke 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 iba parering. Purga Gambia Mansa Kunda Samba Kiti Ola Anung Ghana Mansa Kunda. The standard newspaper is the uh, newspaper reporting this. Uh, that the families of the migrants who were killed in the Gambia under the leadership of former President Jame sued the Gambia government and the Ghana government. I will be video jibekan I'll comment. Ali Ala Miro Vadala Muna Mira Nyungkodo. Active TV update. Early 2005, I decided to go to Europe. You know, when you talk about Bono Hafford going to Europe, it's not a something new as a young boy going to Libya, uh, Mauritania, Morocco, or something of like that sort. So I also decided to go by the same way. So early 2005, I set off from Ghana and I found myself in Senegal at one, by the end of January 2005, I was in Senegal. And we were very lucky to find a man whose name is called Charles Taylor, who's claimed to be American, and he's a captain. And that's what they call him, they call him captain. So he came to a place, Medina, and said he wants to send people to Europe, if we are interested. And he said, sure, that's why we are here. So uh, he started getting people, and you know, some time came that he won money so that he can buy fuel and food and all those things. But people refused to give the money to him in Senegal. So he decided to go back to Gambia. So I can get money from Gambia. And fortunate for him, he get a man called Lamini in Gambia. And Lamini decide to give him money. So he returned the vessel from Dakar to Banju so that he can give him money and buy of fuel and other food stuff. So in the July, the captain said he had finished everything. So we must to come by ourselves and join the vessel at the seas. So we are 56 in number, we have Kenyans, we have Congolese, Togolese. So at the middle of July, uh, the leaders went to Sali in Boo and find a canoe, and we joined the canoe and we left. Whilst we are going, there was a communication between captain and the, 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 and the canoe. So we get a point where we find difficult to reach the captain. And it was a midnight and we found there is a light at the front there. So some of others say, oh, this is Gambia, so let's go to Gambia so that we can communicate to the captain. So early in the morning, we found ourselves in Gambia, uh, Ban Banju port. So some of our guys decided to go to town and call the captain. So they set off on their canoe and we had a navy chasing them, navy chasing them, and gunshot follows. So the canoe guys returned the canoe to the other side. There was a beach called Barra Beach, so they decided to put us there and return the canoe back. So we rest at Barra Beach for some time and we send other guys to Barra Town so further information or if they can get to the captain so that we, we can find a good and a better place to stay. So the captain give them information that uh, the guys who left in the morning, we haven't heard anything from them. So supposedly the police must be arrested. So he will send the agent, Lamini, to go around from police station to police station if he can grant them a bail. So the rest, there is a canoe around, so we must to find a canoe and hide ourselves at a certain village around. In the process of finding canoe, they get to a wrong a guy whose brother was a policeman. So he informed the brother that there was a foreigner around the beach who owned the canoe. So the policeman arrested the three guys and sent them to the para police station. Around 5 p.m. in the evening, we found that there is a canoe heading towards where we are. So we think that, oh, this is the canoe we send for. And they came with one of our guys, Victor. So nobody wasted much time. We just joined the canoe and later found out in the canoe that he was arrested. So they sent us to Barra, Barra Town, where there was a waiting policeman with gun. And they marched straight to Barra Police Station. It was evening. A CID man came in. When you put your passport down, you write your name. In the night, I think 8.30, Two seven bars came in and they left with 30 of our guys. We left 50. And in the 9 p.m. to 10, the bus came again and we joined the bus to the Barra station where the ferry crossed to the Gang Banju. There was a waiting vessel and we joined the vessel where beating started inside the vessel. They started beating us. It was so just at that time. And we crossed to the Barra uh, Banju uh, port where a man was waiting, a soldier with long cutlass. A heart with horn, top here with big talisman, 
and he's just holding the canvas. Immediately you come down from the vessel, he use the canvas on you, he just put it on your chest here, he tear, and your all your shares is down. If the first thirty has been beaten up, they have been tied by rope and there is blood everywhere. Some of them lost their teeth and other things. So they have been tied and about four or three minutes time, the soldier bus came in and they said, join the bus, join the bus. So we joined the bus and we left from Banju port and we get to first police station, which is Bundung police station. And at that time, they said, time should get down, time should get down. So I, I stopped at the Bundung police station there and they left with 40 guys. So next day morning, CID and other guys came in with our statements and fingerprints and they take our passport pictures. So we spent one week at the Bundung police station there. And not forgetting that they brought Lamini also into our cells there. The day they brought, the first day they, we was arrested, at the 3 a.m. at that time, they brought in Lamini and they came for two of our guys. So now we left nine in the Bundung police station there. So um, on the Tuesday, there was a newspaper report of 50 foreigners have been arrested, eight dead bodies have been found at Blufford Forest. But we don't know that this is our people who are these people are So we think that we are in the police, so we are in the safe hands. And we left and we stayed there for one week. And the next day night, they came in with a bus and said, Five should come out. They mentioned my name and other guy's name. And we joined the big car, the car they used to carry the says image. And we left from Bundum Police Station to uncompleted building where the policeman is guiding our clothes, bags, and everything there. They instructed us go and sleep. So one man, one police would come. And the later they go to our police station for the rest of our guys. And that time there is the two ladies, including Lamini. So about one hour later, a man came with a bar and pick up white pickup. The three soldiers with bullets around them, a gun and one officer with white shirts, long cutlass. You people must go and dress. We are going to release you. Say yes, sir. So when you go into your bag, you take your whatever you want to wear, then you take your bag. They came for us one by one. So they come for you, they send you to outside, they loose you again, and they let you underwear. They tied your hand back. They used one rope to tie four of them. And the rest of the rope, they used to tie your neck. So when you are in the pickup, you make like this. You just were looking up, up. You can't even bring your head down. And we are, I think they tied eight of us in one pickup. And the pickup is full. They decide to bring in two ladies, but they say the bag is too big. So they are going to release this after they will come for the rest. And we asked Lamini, why are these people taking us to Israel? Let's pray. So we take no direction from Banshu. Whilst we are going, one Nigerian was praying. Lawa Kubara, Lawa Kubara. And the car stopped. Who is that? The man stopped. And the way the man brought the car last, he said, This guy, we just bring him down and cut his backbone with a heart. We just cut the guy out with a backbone here. And he was not even able to do anything again. The blood is flowing everywhere. And while we are in the highway, we branch to untied road where we get to a certain village, a ship cross the uh, big camp and it knocked the ship and said, we will travel with this ship tonight. And they say, ah, these people are going to kill us. You see, so at that time we went to the forest where the big camp find its way in the forest and they get to a place where it can't move further. So they stop there and two of soldiers take off our bags and luggages. They go inside to the valley there and one man with a wife is here was complaining about you know suffering of his hand and the man came in with colors and just remove his shoulder here he just take it and his hand was off and you know you know they came back and they they did not kill him there they just won't give us more meters and say some one or two things so whilst we are going further everybody decided to you know try to find something and I decide to try hard and I get my hand off from the rope and I tell my guys, you know, my hand is off and they say, oh, it's God who wants to save you to tell the world how and why the Yajame have killed her. So some of them say, go and others say, no, if you go, they will kill us fast. So the car was about to stop and I jumped from the pickup and I heard a noise back there, who is that, who is that? But I did not look back. I, st I start you know, running harder, about four to five steps. I was tied back down by a rope. 
and the gunshot follows and passes over me. So I decide to relax down and he take another direction with a big torchlight shouting and shooting everywhere. So I decide to wake myself up and go further. And I heard the noise. I heard a noise. God save us, God save us, God save us, and gunshot follows. So I did not waste much time. I ran harder and I don't know that I was close to the road and you know. I find the pickup returning and nobody was inside the pickup. So it took the right direction and I also take the left direction to the forest. So I spent some days in the forest there and one day I found myself in another village and asked for directions to Kazamas. So I was able to cross the forest to Kazamas where I have uh, some people who saved me and gave me some cow meat, rice and many things. And they sent me to Bonkling where there was a gendarme camp and I was sent to hospital there and later they gave me direction to Dakar where the news has been put everywhere that um, those who left for this journey, all of them have been killed. And you know, that's how the story goes and Ghana mission there came for me and they brought me back to Ghana here. So that's how the story is. A jungle operation, did you? Did you participate in an operation in 2005? 2000, uh, 2005. Yes, July yes, I, 2005. I did. Can you tell us about it? That was the these Ghanaians who they said were mercenaries. It when we arrived at the ground, yes. Solo said these people are mercenaries. The order from the head of state, the former president, Yaya Jame, is to they are all to be, they are all to be executed and did, we start escorting them did anybody oppose the idea no and there was no at the time solo was the senior man on the ground you all accepted the order yes tell us how the killings occurred we we, <clears throat> we were transporting them one by one to the firing ground me and Ali Ujeng. Malik and uh, Sana Manjan were standing there. When we take this person, they fire at him, he fall in the ditch. We come back for another. Until the last man, I took him up to the up to the ditch. When I when we were going up to the because since we picked them from here, I was investigating him, asking him whether they were what they were alleged for that they were mercenaries. But he said they were not mercenaries, they were they were going there were people going to europe they were going to, they were trying to they were back way boys yes they are work back way boys so on that we were discussing until we reached at that point so when i took this man up to the ditch before we reached the ditch he was having a note 100 euro note he gave it to me he told me that it's it's not necessary for me to die with this you are living, you may use it. You have been nice to me since we took off from Banjul. When we arrived, he asked me to give him charge. Sanamanyan told me, finish, finish him. He asked me for, for me to allow him to say his prayers. I said, go ahead. He kneeled down to say his prayers. Then Sanamanyan has already released the shot and fired him.